Hey, hey, everybody. It's Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. Just thought that uh, I would come on live during the Super Bowl, Bowl and everybody else that's live right now and do a haul from an estate sale that I went to yesterday and today. So if you don't know me, anybody that's watching this after the stream, my name is Noelle. I go by Farm Girl Scavenger here on YouTube as well as Instagram. And I have a Facebook for business. Oh boy, oh boy. Hi, Marie. I want to do a haul video because why not? <laughs> Everybody else is on live. I think uh, Dave is on right now. And I think Harry's on. I can't remember who else I saw that was on. Um, and so I figured I what the heck? Why not? I might as well I might as well just do it too because you know I went back to the estate cell today. And the boys came with me. That light is like very not flattering. Anyway. Holy moly. Ainsley. Two days in a row. Or two two times this week. Um, Gina was so upset that she missed you. Tracy, hi. And I don't think that Gina's going to come on because she got mad at me. So I sent her a message and told her I was going to go live. And she told me she was watching the Super Bowl. <laughs> and I said, all right, that's fine. But how are you doing, Ainsley? We missed you. I'm so glad you're here. Lisa, hi. How are you? So I went to an estate. Two we went. Justin and Marie and I went to two estate sales yesterday. One was, um, I don't even know if you could call it a joke because I don't even think that it, <laughs> it was a joke. Um, and it was my favorite estate sale company too. And they were, they sold and they got bought out by somebody else. And anyway, that's where it is. But um, I was trying to refresh so I can, see what's going on in the chat on the big thing the first one sucked i thought what did i spend it i spent five dollars there at the first one i bought two things a cookbook and some cufflinks um i don't know what did you guys buy at the first one marie i don't think you guys bought much anything either your prices were they were just getting ready to shut it down and start auctioning everything off which what they do is they go and they auction it by the room and Justin had found a coat that he wanted and normally it would be $15 or 20 whatever and the gal told him that she'd sell it to him for $15 and I said I said will you take five for it it's got a hole in the pocket and she goes no but I'd take 10 for it and I said in about you know whatever here shortly you're gonna just get pennies for it hi Eric how are you Oh, if you only bought two things, it, it was bad. The prices were super high and, you know, they were just getting ready to auction it off the last, I've, I've talked about it before, this estate sale, I bought a whole estate for $126. Same place, same company. Anyway, so I don't know what to tell you. But then we went to another one and oh boy. You spent four. I spent a dollar. Oh, oh. <laughs> and on top of that, who didn't have cash on them? Justin. No, it was me. <laughs> I always have cash on me. But yesterday, for some reason, I did not have cash on me. It was hilarious. And uh, Justin and Marie bailed me out. It was a good thing. I didn't spend too much money. Hi, Penny. How are you? Anyway. I thought that I would come on and do a haul video because you guys are not going to believe. Um, yesterday I spent, what was it, $85 in some sense. Hi, Maggie. Um, but I paid for two decorative bottles for Marie. I think one had fireball in it and the other one was a bottle that had champagne in it. <laughs> 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 I mean, you paid for them, but you know what I mean. I paid you back anyway. But the total wasn't the total like 
it was like 85 something yesterday with your with your two decorative bottles in it isn't that what it was and then today i went back and both of my boys and my grandson went with me and i made them drive their own cars 82 for the second one yeah and so between yesterday and today, I spent, I think, about a total of $139, including tax. And I filled up my car pretty much both times. So um, I'm going to do this haul video, and then that's going to be it. And I could be on here by myself for quite some time because I don't know how, how many people want to hang out and, and watch all this stuff. But that's where it is. I want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Eric, Justin, Marie, Penny. If I missed you, let me know. Marie will holler at me. Okay. So let's see how quick I can go through this. And I'm not going to tell you what I paid for everything because I didn't pay what their prices were. These are Tupperware stencils. And they sell for pretty good. And I got two, four, six eight, 10, 12 of them. These should go for about 29 bucks. I know that because I have some listed right now. Um, these are some uh, or, or Christmas ornaments. They had this one marked for a dollar. It is genuine 24 karat gold over brass. This is like one of the, the splendor of the sea. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see them too great because of all the, let's see if that, huh? and then I got four of these, 2001, 2002, 2003, and 2004. These are the Portland ornament, um, and they were sold at, I think they were sold at Nordstrom's for $30 each. This is one of them. Um, this one is Mount, the Mount Hood Lodge actually is what it is. Oh, hell no. Casey is my team and they're going down like a girl out. Um, Gina key lime kisses won't be here because, uh, she's watching the Super Bowl. I can outlast the Super Bowl. We paid a dollar 13 per item at the second sale. Did you, I never did get to see the train. What did you pay at the third sale, Murray? Justin's probably still cursing me. I, I loaded them up with all kinds of crap. It's crap until it's listed and sold. Then it's a treasure. <laughs> anyway, I got four of those ornaments. The guy at the second place, he worked for the phone company. And so you guys know pe pencils are worth money. These are from the AT&T phone center. There's a whole bunch of them. Um. All of this was like my first, like my first grab. I will say that she charged me $8 for this bundle of, it's funny because I still only paid 80 some dollars. This bundle of picture, real picture postcards. There's three glass. Um, oh man, can I talk? Help me, Tracy. Three glass uh, negatives. Um, there's a whole packet of negatives. And then there's oh, multiple real picture postcards and other stuff. So that was technically eight bucks. You didn't see this, Marie. This is a real shell from a Howlitzer Cannon. And I was showing it to Justin today, my Justin. And he was in the military and he, we were looking at it and um, it's from the war. And it probably, as he said, somebody probably died from this one. About that. That was downstairs in the fishing room behind all the fishing books that I got. The guy, the guy had two major hobbies. One was fly fishing and tying and the other was photography. And then I mean, I got so many books, it's not even funny. These are all both on Mount Rainier. This is Flowers of the Parks. She's Chief Joseph of the Nez Pierce. That's, that was all in one little package. I found the most cool, what's going on? Those are, 
I found the most cool poster. That is Larry Bird and Julius Irving, Dr. J. It's signed, but it's signed like it's not physically signed by them. It's just their signatures. It's from um, 1984. That was the year before I graduated. This was rolled up in the cupboard that had all of their Christmas wrapping paper and stuff in it. As I looked in there and it was the door on it was closed. And then there was this poster tube, which is like a major hint that there's something going on there, right? And this is fly fishing poster. Um, an artist creel, June 19, June 9th, 1989. Um American Musician of Museum of Fly Fishing. Some of this stuff I know what it's worth, some of it it isn't. All I know is this is fly fishing and it's worth some money to somebody because I've already been down that road. I got a lot of that kind of used to go to the Celtics to play. I know. I love that. Look on IG, Noel under Jack and Justin. Okay, I will. Post it under video game stuff. Post what under video game stuff? The Dr. J and and uh, the poster, Dr. J? Or are you talking to somebody else, Eric? I'm looking down at my other computer because I can see more. Look on, post it under. What's from a video game? Please tell me you stayed up. I went in the garage. <laughs> why would I why would I list that poster of Dr. J and um, Larry Bird under video game stuff? That's their that. Good to know. Thank you, Eric. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Marie. So let me just give you a little hint of how much that's to put stuff that that box or that that bag is from today. That's from yesterday. This stuff is from yesterday. That's from today, that's from today, that's from today, and that's from today. What do you guys want to start on? You want to see all the fishing clothes that I got? Man knows his video games. I'm going to remember that, Eric. I'm just going to go through the, the clothing real quick because that's a quick one. So he was a fisherman, a fly fisherman, and so all of these hats, Silver Creek, Sun Valley, Idaho, um, Sweet. Grass Rods, Montana, High Hum, Deadman Creek, British Columbia, Circle W, High Hum Fishing Camp, the Greased Line Fly Shop, but wait, there's more. There was a whole box of hats in the bedroom that had all of the shoes and the and the linens in it, Marie, where you took that picture of me <laughs> glasses on. There was a whole box of hats that nobody could see because somebody threw some towels over the top of it. So guess who got all the hats today? <laughs> oh yeah. Did you miss me? <laughs> okay. Bastin, um, Bastin Enterprises. There's a bath on that. See it? I need to get my hat box over here.
What you doing, buddy? This is this is nothing. You're good. Hawaii. And it's that cat. Crazy shirts, Hawaii. This is rain shadow forecast. Korea veteran. Still has the price tag on it. Eddie Bauer. Um, Dorfman Pacific. All of his fishing hats. This and hers too, I guess. This one's Orvis. Uh, it's been 24 hours since I've seen you. They're open again tomorrow. Uh, Marie, do you have the littles tomorrow? Because I also got a text from my people from the Hawaii estate sale and they're, they invited me to a private pick. So if you don't have the littles tomorrow. Anyway, this was just not even a no-name brand. And look at, I want you guys to see, this bike has a $5 price tag on it. This one is, I'm not even sure. It's made in the USA, but I don't see a brand on it. Got a leather strap. I shall do more. Bunch of these. Buzz off insect shield. There's one. Two. This one's the same thing. Three. I think there's a blue one somewhere around here, too. This is Sport Fish Research Participant, uh, Prince William Sound, Alaska. G. Loomis. You have to do school pickup at three, so you couldn't be there long. Clark Scamania. Well, if you can come in the morning early, another Clark's Comania. That's my um. That's our. That's my home stomping grounds. These are nice. One size fits all. Made in the USA, because we know we need the main American National Legion. This is a really nice one, and this is what he was. A lineman. This one is got the terry cloth and the braided rope. The greased line. This is um, fly shop of the Dalles, um, Dalles, Oregon, Hood River, the Dalles. Oh, this one has a pin on it too. American Museum of Fly Fishing, Orvis. Manzanita Golf. Apparently he golfed too. Um, steelhead from Hell. Ooh, the greased line. Might have to keep that one. The ba Baston Enterprises again. And another Clark Scamania. Oh, wait. I had to get the glasses, Marie. What do you think? Yep. Why not? They'll sell. I thought she was done today. That's what she said yesterday. Why do you listen to me? I don't get it. The lineman. Yeah, I think so too, Tracy. Yep. Dren's. Dren's oh, he's having a donut. Donut. Hi, Carol. How are you? Annie, how are you? You guys are awesome. So I'm going through my estate sale haul from yesterday and today. And, and I haven't even really begun. I did just go through all, I can't say I went through all the hats because I know there's more hiding out somewhere. I'm going to finish this bag. Um, this was awesome. I pulled this out and I asked Ryan, my son, if he needed any towels because when I went live the other day, he, he wanted the sunflower picture and I saw these sunflower, I saw these flowers and I go, hey, this will go with your picture. And then I unfolded it all the way. Let's see. I didn't look to see if there's a date on it, and I doubt there is, but a quick Google search will find it for me. 
Manzanita, it's where the water funnel yeah, laughed out loud so hard to all those glasses. What do you think? I got another pair. You want to see the other pair? Hang on. Oh my God, these are prescription and they're killing me. Hang on, hang on. Let me do a little quick, quick change out here. Which ones are better? These are bifocals too. He got his picture today and he was totally excited. I kind of like these. Wonder if they'll help me so that I don't have to squint so much. All right. Oh, Dren wants to say hi, everybody. Hi. Tell Marie hi. Hi, Marie. How about Justin? Hi, Justin. Annie. Hi. Tracy. Hi. Tell Tracy hi. hi. Tell Carol hi. hi. Is that it? Are you done? Do you like my glasses? Do you want to try them on? All right. Dren has to make his appearance. You guys all know that. You like the first ones better? Oh, I love these things. And they sell really well. So just so you know, you guys, doesn't matter if they're prescription or not. They like these. They, these, the production studios will buy them all day long. And actually, this frame style is, is very popular. And people will put sunglasses, sunglass frames in them. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, Ainsley. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you, girl. You don't know how much we all miss you. I miss you so much, Ainsley. I'm going to send you this fancy, handy, dandy bellboy pager. If any of you guys have picked this up? Its batteries are dead. Yeah, its batteries are long dead. You are correct. Okay. You tested it? Yeah. And it wouldn't work? It did work. You got it to make a little noise? Oh, apparently he was playing with the merchandise while I was gone. Got to have something. Anyway, lenses. Lenses. Thanks, Marie. No, I also got, okay, in, this, in the same room, um, I think two Fila shirts. They're, they're just... If Justin doesn't, my Justin doesn't want them, then I will probably wear them this summer. They were a dollar a piece. And then, well, you know, I didn't pay a dollar because I didn't pay any price. I also got these I totally got for Justin. They're just plain white Russell athletic t-shirts. They're made in Mexico. They're older ones. I don't think they they were ever worn. Um, wait till you see this. See these set. Remember the thing that I got yesterday downstairs that you found, Marie? These are from Japan. They're it's an actual. These are the pants. Silk, satin. Here is the shirt, the jacket, and it's got the little frog buttons. I'm not. Not gorgeous. Carried a red Motorola pagers for years. So just so you all know, I do hate clothes, but I will pick up vintage. Why? Thanks, Noel. I'll have those shirts messed up. <laughs> you got. I found you that nice red one at the one at the sale. Good. Oh. I really, really, really wish I'm going to hold this, hold off on this in, in case um, Danica comes in. I, I messaged her, but I don't know what she's doing. She might be on somebody else's show because I, I saw that she was online when I messaged her, but I got something for her. Um, I got these Crocs. These are the good old ones. They actually fit me, so they may be staying with me they had a $25 price tag on them I did not pay $25 for them. I also got these uh, Sanooks 
They can't be very old. I don't think they were ever worn. Look, there's no what size are these. Anybody sees anything they want, you know how to get a hold of me. Size seven in women's. Aren't those cute? Got those. So Nuxa are a pretty popular brand. And they are, they're like, I, my youngest son loves, loves this brand. And I saw this yesterday, but I didn't get it. And then I saw it today and I had to get it because look, it's a fishing fat Santa ornament. Because <laughs> why not? You know, this will sell its apartment 56. I didn't even open it up and look at it. Still has the tags on it. Is that not cute? <laughs> Might have to keep this one, even though I hate Christmas and I hate decorating. This is way too cute. You know I won't, but it sounded good. They really, I don't know why nobody bought it at $3. They had a $3 price take on it. Can you see that? Would you guys have picked this up for $3, just a regular price? I I actually just saw it in passing yesterday, and I thought it was in somebody's stack. It was down there by the piano, Marie. Um, you almost bought that? Mm. All right. I'm trying to get all the powder in your ball turned back into glitter. Okay. Good luck to you on that. All right, let's move this. It's working. Is it working? Yeah. Well, there you go. All right. I got a couple of things over here that I'm going to. Marie found this and showed it to me. And this. I don't even know if I'm how I'm gonna be able to show. Hey, Dren, can you help me? Can you take this walk? Let's go right over here. Okay, stand right there. Can you set your ball down or put it in your pocket? There you go. Okay, hold that right there. You got it. Mm -hmm. You got it good. Hold it tight. Hey, you guys. This is. Now touching the top of my foot. And it is satin and silk brocade. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> He's having a little bit too much fun being helpful there. Yeah, we had good pizza. So I'm going to see if I can get you a close-up of the material. Because my cameraman was a little shaky. You. They had eighteen dollars on it. Price tag still on it. You're a what? I got commentary from the peanut gallery around here, you guys. Eighteen dollars. I know, in front of my nose. I'm working on it. Don't yell. Anyway, and the belts are in the pocket. There's two belts this one don't know why I'm fighting with somebody else over a rare silk smoking jacket that i have right now <laughs> I know where it came from i know how much it cost and i know how old it is because it was my youngest son's grand uh, best friend's grandfather's from japan knows um anyway and then all of the clothes unless they were priced or two dollars a piece I got these two Columbia belts. Um, this one's just nothing exciting except for it's leather, genuine leather. This one has the Aztec design, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, fish fly fishing. Probably says it has genuine full grain leather. $2 a piece for these. 
but you know, I didn't pay two dollars a piece because by the time everything was out, I don't know what they were doing. This really nice pea coat. Um, and in the pocket is the little lint brush. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, how often does okay stop? Often does that happen? This is a Macintosh authentic pea coat, 100% pure wool made in the USA. All right. Um, Another hat. There's more hats hiding somewhere else, too. This guy had hats like crazy. This one doesn't have any tags in it, but it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to do the fishing shirts. In the laundry room, there was a closet where, like, you, that had a bar in it so you could hang dry your stuff, right? Oh, look who's here. Well, how long? Hello. Did uh did you know that Ainsley was here? Ainsley, did you see that that uh um Miss Gina is here? Why that house was awesome. I know. Oh. 750,000 Marie and they already have five offers over that. They were showing it like crazy today. Marie, do not egg Gina on. Got tired of seeing Casey get their asses smacked around, so you thought you'd come and smack me around a little bit. That's all right. I love it. All right. So in the laundry room, they had this closet that was shut. Nobody was looking in. But you know I look everywhere. So all of these shirts. This is made by Buzz Off Insect Shield. One. This one is Insect Shield Repellent by Exficio. It's all of his fishing shirts. Two. Two dollars a piece. That's what they charged me. This is Columbia Titanium. Same thing. His fishing shirts. Op Optimus. Optum Shade. Opti wow, because I can talk. Omni Shade. Hey, I have enough trouble with Marie harassing me. I don't need it from a seven-year-old. <laughs> this one is PFG Performance Fishing Gear. Would any of you guys bought these? I know you would. I was around. Never. You are a guppy. Who said that? Marie was watching me get these. Exficio. Here's another one. Another one. Another Columbia performance fishing gear. I'm telling you. I like this one because I like the color. Another Columbia sportswear PFG. It's got the vents and all of that good stuff in it. Wait, there's more, because you know it. <laughs> while, I'm, while I'm pulling those out, somebody be so kind as to look this up and tell me how odd you are, how much this is gonna, I'm going to get on this. Good seasoning, cruet, Italian salad dressing, mixed bottle, new, vintage. Somebody look that up. I don't want to know it for the for for me to look up. I already know what it's worth. I want somebody else to look it up and put it in the chat because you guys are gonna die when you see how much that's worth. I think this is a nurse on here.
Is it? I don't know. It's never been opened and used. These are the best. Of all the glasses, these are the best. I may have to clean these up and keep them because I'm digging these. Yeah, Justin, Justin and Marie got, they, they, they did well in the kitchen area. Oh my God, my grandma had one of those. What the fuck was what? <laughs> I know, Marie, Marie carried all the shirts for me. Another Orvis hat. Wolf Creek Anglers Fly Shop. I did get the rest of the fishing shirts. These are all um this is this one's Norm Norm Thompson. This is Exficio Outdoor Purple. These would be great for landscaping if I was still doing that. This one is Eddie Bauer Outdoor Outfitter, Seattle, Washington, 100% cotton. These ones I got today, they weren't $2 either. Columbia Sportswear for short sleeves. Columbia Sportswear, Portland, Oregon, because they are just across the bridge from us. This is a woman's and it is really cool. Carol, you, I don't, I'm, I know this is a good brand. Um, it's Jack's Girlfriend, J-A-C-H-S. I didn't look it up. I just know it's a good grant brand. Plus all of the stuff in her closets were, were like completely high end. Tommy Hilfiger, um, they had Joffrey Bean tuxedo and they had a couple of shirts, but this is a flannel. And the sleeves are are um, pearl snap, and they fold up. There's paisley on the inside, so this is a woman's shirt, and it is a medium. I I got these for Emily. Brand new champion socks. These ones I'm going to sell. They're hot socks. These are, uh, I don't know, flip flops and these are six bucks a pair. These are iguanas. These ones are butterfly. Maybe, you know what? I should probably just save these for a giveaway. Unless somebody think I'd be a copycat because somebody else did a giveaway with Everybody knows about these, I should hope. And if you don't, you probably should. These are Auric. These are Hoover. Hoover. These were in a cupboard that was closed in that little office area across from the laundry room, Marie. I'm having issues. Here's another one of those little ornaments that I found in a completely different bedroom. Sony cells, especially brand new. Brand new Sony remote control. Big button, easy to use. I should probably keep it for myself. So all of those bags of toys that I wanted to go through yesterday and pull out the stuff that I wanted and the stuff that I didn't want, they had brought up to the garage. U.S. mail, all of the McDonald's. That's McDonald's. This is McDonald's. Um, this is cool. Tonka paramedics. Emergency. Looks like a uh, A team van. 
Okay, I honestly do not know what this is. I can Google Lens it, but I got it because it looks like it was never taken out and it's something from the 70s. Isn't that cool? Um, I know that there was a group of them. I've seen them before. I just don't know. So I will figure that out. That's cool. I just have to show you. Um, have our little guy from, I have a bunch of these already. So I'll just lock that with him. More McDonald's. These are the chicken McNuggets, I think. These are all the little transformer ones. Uh, yeah. I'm not having trouble with the internet and uh, I have almost the whole McDonald's crew. This is the little guy. A um, couple of little people. I have more of these. But the African American ones are very hard to find. Also, they had some Power Rangers. This is Oh, somebody help me. Um, no. Is it Cyborg? Yeah. Kevin would know. Do you know that Pan Panasonic? Yeah. You know who this is? Robocop. Robocop thing. I thought he was Cyborg. Some weird Superman from 1995. I'm lose my light. Because why wouldn't I? All right. So I picked out all this stuff. That I, oh, and this actually, they don't put, really go with this, but this little car is a Tootsie toy, 1967. It's as old as me. And it looks it. <laughs> Sing it. Vacuum bags click something in my mouth. Noelle, you want the pink plaid shirt? Oh, think about that. Here's the best thing. All right. Anybody know what that stands for? Mm -hmm. Mighty Max, aka the boys, Polly Pockets. And this is another part of it. Somewhere in here. Oh, here he is. Here's the little guy himself. And I have another one out in the garage. And that was his little thing that he was in. I was pretty excited. Mighty Max is, is a pretty good buy. And then they, I got some of these little transformer dudes. Since you're always trying to dress me. Monster Magnet. No, Mighty Max. About to be invaded here in just a minute. Okay, I'm on my mom lied. My mom lied. But you know, I don't want to be on the camera. Don't come in here. Um, a Mitsubishi remote control. This is one of the monster ones. And make sure when you buy remote controls that you open them up and look at them. This Boy, it opened up nicely for it. it this one's this one's good anyway. So Mitsubishi Monster or Monster Mitsubishi remote control. Um, and then I have a few more clothes to show you, and then I'm done with that. What do you want? I know this is sorry, bug. Made in the USA. It is. We're Rumbo, the Stevens fabric, 100% wool, pinpoint fashions. Um, it is a long red wool jacket with the belt. I did not pay $2 for it. I got this today in my, 
I walked out of there today <clears throat> for $60 and I think it was $64.80 with tax. Since you're oh, monster, monster magnet. Anyway, so that's, that's this. And I have a few more clothing pieces to show you and then I'll be done with clothes. These were downstairs in his fly fishing office. Remember in the back corner where that pinball machine thingy was? There was a closet back there that nobody looked in. I looked in it yesterday, but um, it's very top cider, more fishing. It's very top cider. Columbia, more Columbia fishing. This is an Eddie Bauer Expedition Outfitter jacket, and it's got the, Justin, this would look good on me. It's got the plaid on the inside of it. Um, this is a Columbia Sportswear Company. This is a nice one. It's got the uh, plaid or the quilted on the back. And it's got all of the pockets for your fishing stuff in it. I want to go back tomorrow and buy all the clothes. So what do you think about that? Last one. This, and I'm going to wash all of this stuff. So I had to do this tonight so I could wash it. Otherwise, I never would have done this. This is gear for sports. Extra large. King Salmon, Alaska. I'm having technical issues. I'm getting better at it. Hi, Sal in Tennessee. How are you? Anyway, so that's that's it for the clothes. Um, with that. I got a lot of fly fishing books. 1500 unique and innovative fly patterns. I got, he actually had two of the same book. They wanted $8 for it. They did not get $8 for it. I don't even, can't even say that I paid 10 cents for it. Thanks, Marie. I'm working really hard on it. I'm trying to take direction from people so that I can get better. I really, really am. Um, what the what? Hang on just a second. <laughs> Toilet paper, anyone? You should always have a small roll of toilet paper in your car. Toilet paper. Dude. Just use leaves, the seven-year-old says. There you go. Julie, hi. Who needs toilet paper in a pandemic? My seven-year-old says just, my grandson says just use leaves. Want you to know. That's his advice. Okay, Murray. Came from the room that I was not supposed to go into. That would be the garage. Uh, vintage uh, spark plugs that have not been used. Yes, I checked them. Yes, I know what a use spark plug looks like. AC Delco set of four of those. Who knows what they charge me for them because like I said this I got all of these came up today and they came in my $60. Justin got a what did you get a, 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 a magic bullet? Magic bullet what did they charge you for it? It had, it had $350 on it. What did you walk out of there paying for it? Oh, $350. Honestly? For the whole thing. But that's what the price tag was on it, and they charged you three fifty. Yeah, 
because I because it should have been a dollar. What's half of three fifty? A dollar twenty five. Dollar seventy five. Excuse me. I, I'm not mathing today. Locking gas cap, you guys. Check this out. Made in the USA. Original P is in here. Still in the wrapper. We'll go back tomorrow. In the garage. You can be sure if it's a Westinghouse, these are the are vintage bulbs. They're not all it's not clear full, but vintage auto bulbs, Westing house. I have quite a large genre. You saw the bullet, but, but you have a ninja. More miniature bulbs. can run, but you can't hide, guys. Pentax man, or Pioneer manual. This is a vintage address book that was never used. These things sell you guys. This is, I probably get um, $10, $15 for this. Canon power shot, the whole, all the manuals to it. This is a moto manual. Yeah, this stuff sells really well because people are buying the cameras and stuff off of eBay and they don't have the instructions for them. I got the instructions. These were also down in the fly fishing room. <clears throat> These are um, an, an anatomistic button made in Sweden and they're tiny, they're size 37. She's doing fine. Made in Sweden, aren't they cute? She had tiny feet. Did that manual go with the stereo? I don't know. I pulled about 40 manuals out for different things when I was back there because that's where he kept all the manuals. I found five packages of pictures. I found all the plans, the original house plans and blueprints, and I gave them to them. And I found a bunch, all of the manuals for all of the kitchen appliances, the lawnmower, all of the saws and stuff. And I gave them to him so that he could go put them on all the stuff that they hadn't sold yet. And I did not give them these because I put them in my pile. I mean, <laughs> you know, that's, you can only do so much work for them for free. Well, not really for free. I got good deals. So the shoes and, and this. How many of you guys sell maps? Road maps. All the oh mother. Thank God this wasn't a good one. I hate. Yeah. That's a goner. Three dollars. See that? Three dollars for all. That was painful. That's why you don't let them put tape on stuff. Um, I have some bigger maps. This whole thing, $3. And those maps that you just saw me pull out. This is Canada. Seattle. Vancouver, Washington, that's my neck of the woods. I didn't even look at them. I just asked them how much because these sell really well. Um, Hood River, 1998. So $3 for those. Hey, Jennifer, how you doing? $3 for all of those. This is stuff that was in in his thing that nobody looked through. Um, flex coat rod building, how do we do it? Here's the here's the catalogs and here is the, the DVD. He never, oh, he never used it. 
this he built his own he made his own rods and 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 stuff so that's uh that's some money there i would to take a guess that i'd probably get about 25 or 30 bucks from that just from my experience of selling the other stuff and this is maps maps of and they're coded because you're going to take them out with you when you are fishing. This is, I think these are Georgia, if I remember correctly from seeing them. But this is the whole United, the whole world. This one is. I do not know. I mean, I don't take everything out and look at it. This is Alaska. Several Alaska maps. This is tells something about fishing rods, guide spacing. Determining the spine of the rod blank. Fly fishing. So if you guys think that golfing is a thing, don't mess with the fishermen. You might don't want to mess with the Gordon fishermen. <laughs> Hi, Mary. I didn't see you. There you are. All right, so that's that. Marie, the closet under the stairs where the art glass was. I saw this several times. It was way back in, in the very back. And I was walking past there and I saw it. And I was like, that is really cool. Red Wing, USA. Six eighty six. No chips, no cracks, no nothing. It's actually, can you see the color back? It's actually my colors, but I'm not going to keep it. It was, it was doing pretty good. It was doing pretty good, but not really. Isn't that cool? Can't tell you how much I paid for it because I got it today in my haul of $64 and 85 cents. Yeah, where the, no, where the artistic glass was that had alcohol in it, that little cupboard, right when you come down the stairs to your left, that little tiny cupboard, there was a shelf there that was full of mugs and stuff. And then it had a bunch of um, suitcases and stuff in the back. There was a shelf up there and I saw this, green several times when I walked by when I was carrying stuff upstairs and I thought I need to stop and look at that and I did and I was like picked it up and I was like I turned it over I was like what I'm buying that bought that got that Gina, I bought your childhood toy. Spirograph. Originally, they wanted $42 for this. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to pay $42 for that. <laughs> it has the manual. It had all the pieces. Oh, just a minute ago. All the pieces. And two of the original pens. And stuff underneath it. This is your Spirograph drawing board. So it says. This little guy looks pretty happy, doesn't he? They're having fun. Yeah. 
So while I was looking at things, okay, I'm showing you stuff that I got today, right now out of this bag. I actually this came from today. Um, so the spirograph. Sorry about that. My granddaughter is back. Um, while I was looking upstairs at stuff, Brian, my youngest son, was downstairs dying over all of the books. And he grabbed a whole bunch of them and brought them up to me. And he had already comped them. Zombie bargain hunter, Robert. Hey, how you doing? All right, somebody's making fun of me and I miss it. Dang, 42 bucks. I know, I didn't pay 42 bucks for it. Did anybody look up that? Uh, did anybody look this up and get shocked at the price of it yet? Good seasons. Italian salad dressing through it. I kid you not. Look, look, you will be keep your eyes open for this, even if it's not new. The only thing this is missing missing is the two seasoning packets. I kid you not. You guys look it up. You'll be shocked. Um. So Ryan went downstairs and he was going through all the books and he just kept bringing them up. And I said, "Yeah, I looked at them yesterday," and but. And I had, and Marie can attest to the fact that I bought a bunch of books yesterday. I bought a hoop done. Ooh, I'm so proud of myself. Of fly fishing books. You need more plush? I'm about ready to take a bunch of plush out of my store because I can't freaking handle it. But um, Marie and I can get you plush. You hey, hey, Robert, you want some Beanie Babies? Let me know. I'm going back to this estate sale tomorrow and everything is going to be even dirt, more dirt cheap than it was today. And I'll pick up all the Beanie Babies if you want them. Did I do that? <laughs> they're worth, they're worth quite a bit. They're probably worth about 42 bucks. Carol, that's probably about what it's worth. That's probably about what it'll sell for 42 bucks. On their old toys, they were pretty well priced close to close to what they would sell for. And the thing with that is, is it's not a bad thing. They're trying to make money for their customers, right? Hey, Perlini. No, I didn't think so, Robert. I was just teasing you. But um, I do have, I do, I don't have a lot left in my store. But if you need more plush, absolutely, um, I can source it for you. I don't have a problem with that if you were having a hard time finding it. Um, so Ryan found a bunch of stuff and he was actually um, comping it. Apparently this is the 30 or $40 book. Twin Peaks, the show. This is Twin Peaks. Welcome to Twin Peaks. Complete guide to who's who and what's what. He comped that. The Hardy Boys Adventure book and there is hardly any writing in it. I don't think I'm not seeing any little bit of pencil writing in it. A history of the Vancouver public schools. That's the public schools in just north of me. That's Vancouver is the border town to Portland, Oregon. So Vancouver, Washington, then you go across the bridge to Portland, Oregon. This is actually worth quite a bit of money. Um, I sold one similar to it for uh, um, I have one for a couple of places in Wisconsin and they're worth quite a bit of money because you can't really put a price on them. They only made so many of them and only very few people have them. They didn't make them again. Mr. He worked for the telephone company, right? Mr. Bell invents the telephone. A key to the world's beyond telescope manual for beginning astronomers. Okay, this is kind of this. She was a teacher, and she um, she tutored out of her basement, and she had all of these scholastic book services, the books with the records. Do you remember that? Some of us, 
when we were kids. Um, I went through all of them after everybody else left. I went through all of them and I have about 50 of them over in another tub and I'm just going to lock them all together. Um, the Atlas stamp album of the world and there's actually stamps in it. Popular Mechanics Yearbook for 1913. They had a bunch of popular science and popular mechanics, but he took tape and taped the spines. So I got this one. I don't know. They, they are worth money, but they're really worth money if they don't have this tape on the spine. So I'm going to look them up, and if she still has them, she wanted me to buy all the books. Go figure. Um, and then you guys should always be looking for all these old catalogs. Jaffco, 1978, I think it said on here. So, yeah, 1978, spring and summer. Check out this. Um, whenever you need to get rid of them. I do. I know how to get a hold. I'll probably look at. I'm going to list this for 70 bucks, maybe 80 Yep, maybe 85. Friends Trent tell me to go higher. On that note, if you guys don't know that catalogs, I'm sure most of you guys that watch me know that magazines are worth a lot of money. Hey, Cal, um, catalogs are worth a lot of money. This is actually the last Sears big catalog that was per, that was put out it's the very last one it still has the paper on it um it was uh spring of 1993 and not only does it still have the paper on it it was actually still in the sears bag it's worth about 50 bucks because there's only one other person that has one with the paper on it there's quite a few listed but and I'm going to sell it with paper on it. I'm going to sell it in the bag. Because why wouldn't I? Enough from the peanut gallery, mister. These are from 1983 Trend Enterprises. Scratch and stiff stinky stickers. 432 stickers. Walnut. Flour, mint ice cream, raisin bread, chocolate covered cherry, taco, lollipop, plum, chocolate chip cookie, pretzel, watermelon, caramel apple, chocolate ice cream cone, rainbow, root beer, toothpaste, boot, boot, and ketchup. That's all the, the, the scratch and stuff. This one is cracking good, so that's the walnut. And the other one is, must be ketchup because it says pour it on. Um, those are the ones you can see. Originally, this was um, $10.98 at Learning World, and then it was on sale for $8.99. These were, these were spendy. Spendy, spendy. Dr. Slick Instruments for Anglers. This is a, a necklace, uh, an elastic necklace that you hang different things. Um, instead of wearing a fishing vest, like if you went out in a pontoon or a kayak or whatever, you would hang this on your neck and it has different loops in it to hang, uh, maybe a small tackle box, um, has this little thing in it so you can stick your net in it. Your net would go in the end of it. Let's see all these different things you could stick your your scissors and pliers and all that kind of stuff. I, I looked it up today. It's worth 25 bucks. And that's the only reason I know what, what it is. So I, if I sound like I know what I'm talking about, I really don't, but I looked it up today. So I know what it is. I can't help myself. I just told on myself. I like to make myself look like I know things, but that's how you learn, right? I'm going back tomorrow to look through the fishing room to find the stuff that goes on this because I know it's there. I have one more day to look for things. Ryan found this. 
I know. And she, like I said, she was a teacher. So she has a lot of that. She had a lot of that stuff. Wait till you see some of the other stuff I got that she had, you know, the little awards that you would give like the kids when they had a good day or something, you'd write them out a little paper that had paper awards. She had a bunch of those that were really cool. Okay. This is awesome. It had $15 on it. It was in the bookcase with all the books. Ryan found this. Basketball trading cards, Kellogg's, Raisin Bran. What? I'm going to leave. They open at 10, Marie, so I'm going to leave here at 9.30. Kellogg's. I don't know if any of these are worth any money. Harold Miner. Here, here's one that is probably worth thousands. All-star drug detecting dog, Benny. From Milk Phone. This is all um, Carl Ripken Jr. Post cereal. 1993. I, don't, I know who that is, but I mean, it's just like. Um, and then they got, oh, Clyde Drexler. That's uh, my hometown boy. And Larry Bird and Wade. And Wade Birdman. <laughs> and you, you wonder. Charles Smith, Kevin Johnson. Kevin Johnson was married to... Um, Julie Leslie, who was uh, three years older than me. I grew up with her brother was one year. Julie graduated with my brother, Joe. Her brother graduated with in between Gus and I, my, old, my older brother. So Kevin Johnson from the, um, did play for the Portland Blazers for a while. So um, Scotty Pippen, Gary Payton, Carl Malone, John Stockton. Oh, I know all the Hakeem Awajalon, I just butchered his name. Bernard King, Doug Smith, Bud Webb, Mark Price. Um, and then we go into the Blazers. These are actual friends. The Franz cards from the Blazers. Boy, that. See that now? Um, so those are all Kellogg's. I don't know if these are worth any money. I'll have to look them up. Rick Adelman, he was the coach of the Blazers. Walter Davis, Blazers All Star Weekend. Terry Porter, yeah. Eric Johnson, and then now we're getting into um, really Dren Moby Dick. Apparently, Mo Moby Dick played for the Blazers. Did you guys? Has anybody met him? Could you think we could get his? You have to leave at two fifteen. You may have to follow canceled. me in there so that you can you leave. Canceled. I'm canceled. My contract's been canceled. No. Oh, man. I've been being pulled from YouTube, guys. Pulled. Seattle Seahawks football. This is ridiculous. This one still has a coupon in it. Or cereal. Chuck. Knobloch, Minnesota Twins. Anybody, anybody know anything about this? Did I lose y'all? Apparently not. There's more people in here than there was. Larry Bird being a whale of a dick. Um, Key, you weren't in. Gina, you weren't in here earlier. Check this out. Let's see. Julius Irving and Larry Bird is from 1984. Yeah, yeah. Don't go in there. I think Emily's going to bed. Whoa, well, mom said, don't go in there that way. Mom, hey, um, it doesn't matter. Don't bother her. Tell him to come back and say hi to me. Who? <laughs> anyway. That poster is awesome. Quit stomping, Dren. Sorry. 
those basketball cards are awesome. Ryan found those. So it's good to have helpers. Downstairs in the fishing room while I was going through through the desk. And I say it like this because I'm standing at my listing station out in, in the dining room. And he had like a teacher, like a like a a wooden desk you'd find at a teacher in a teacher's help me out, somebody a, t a school a school teacher's desk or secretary or whatever. And I saw this. Who does this? It still has the price tag on it for $120. You see that? It is a Panasonic anti-shock portable CD player. It's got the car charger. It's got the cassette, which was never used. It still has the original that you would put in so that you could play it. In your oh, I have a cassette player. Might have to use this in my car. Just joking. And it's got the regular charger in it. So I don't know if he, he must have only used batteries on it. And I was like, what the heck? Where's the actual, you know, where's the actual uh, thing? So as I was going through the desk, I found this thingy, my Bobby. <laughs> That's technical for yeah. CD, portable CD case. Guess what was in it? Now the foam's all gone from the headphones, but I don't care. Somebody can figure that one out for themselves. But I didn't even, this is one thing I did not do. This guy was great. He kept the batteries on everything he knew because he was a photographer and all of that. And it actually has a, what did he listen to? On, off, is it locked? I don't know what's in it. There's something in it. Anyway, so I got that. Hey, Barry. Hey, Dave. What's going on? Anyway, so I got Joe. So I got that. And then I found the rest of the story. All the rest of it that goes with it. I cannot believe that they paid... Oh, I can't too believe they paid $120 for it at Meyer Frank, which, as I was explaining to Tracy um, from uh, 1987 Ventures, that Macy's, or Macy's bought out Meyer and Frank years ago, and Meyer and Frank and Nordstrom's were the nice in competition. I don't know how many of you guys from on the other side of the country had Meyer and Frank or not, but Meyer and Frank was Meyer and Frank and Nordstrom's were the expensive places to shop at the mall. I'm not done because why would I be? Welcome to the estate sale we went to, Dave. Okay, so I told you she was a teacher and she had all of, I showed you those stickers. This is hilarious. Bragging about the, the teachers sending this little thing home. Another one. Top banana award. You made me proud today. These ones are sealed. This is, this is ephemera. This stuff sells like crazy. I'm having technical difficulties and I don't want to not put it back in here because I'll ruin it somehow. Okay. Fly fishing. The complete works of G. Loomis. G. Loomis is just four miles down the freeway from me. The factory G Loomis, they make uh, fly, uh, they make fishing poles. Flies of the Northwest, the angler's art book for fly fishermen. 
Trout of Washington, Warm Water Fish of Washington, Deschutes River Hatch, Michigan Trout Streams. Michigan, is there anybody in here from Michigan? Anybody? Hi, Courtney. Anybody in here from Michigan? Come on, I know there is. Speak up or forever hold your peace. Michigan. Fishing Talk, Gifford Pinch of Forest, The Complete Book of Fly Tying, Constructing Cane Rods, Western Trout Flying, American Fly Tying Manual Times 2, Fly Patterns of Alaska, I'm trying to go fast, Fly Tires, um, Nymph Manual. You guys watch, you start watching my store. If you don't watch my store already, follow my store. You're gonna see this stuff fly off the shelves. Native Trout of North America. Making strip built fly rods from various woods on a lathe. He charged me $40. <laughs> this is hilarious. These books I got yesterday. I spent $80. Muriel put the total in there because she paid it and then I had to pay her back because I didn't have cash. $85. I don't know. Between yesterday and today, I spent $139. And I've already been on here for how long? I don't know how long, a long time. Um, he charged me $40 for this stack of books, $40 just for this stack of books. And then I ended up only paying Maureen, you never make it. Hello, hello. Um, I am yelling. I'm sorry. I get, I yell when I get excited. Those of you that know me know, and then Marie or Danica or somebody will tell me to calm down. Sorry guys. Um, so he charged me $40 for the stack of books yesterday and everything else that I got, all, almost all of those clothes. I got some of the clothes today, but most of them yesterday. Um, I have more. You guys want me to finish this off? Because I'm not going to do another one. I'm going to finish. You're here. 26 people? My goodness. I appreciate you guys. I'm amazed. Remember I told you, don't go, please. Remember I told you uh, catalogs. This is Kershaw Knives. The last three, four catalogs I had for knives were Spider Co. And they all went to um, the Russian Federation. Is that like the Klingon Federation? Anybody? Anybody? Klingon, Russian? Justin borrowed me the money, you guys. I paid him back when we got, I forgot to take cash with me because I was a dork. Okay, so Spider Co. Are you still eating on that? Yeah. I got these because there was multiples. These are um, E.O. Emberley's little drawing book of That's the Farm. This is the train. This is weirdos. <laughs> Maybe this should be my, that's hilarious. Dave, do you need some books? <laughs> no, to draw. <laughs> oh, and this one is Bar Barza. And these are from, this is from Toronto. And these were, Actually, they were printed in the United States, 1973. I would have been in, I would have been in kindergarten. I had to count on my fingers. Count on my fingers. Popular mechanics. There's a bunch of the. There was more popular science, but this is 1955, and I may get the rest of them. These are really cool. But I looked. I did. I did comp these when I came when I got home last night to see if there, it was worth buying the rest of them. All right. Anybody that follows me knows how I feel about these. 1987 Cosmopolitan. Um, I will probably list this for $60 and I will probably get $60. It has all of the inserts in it. Uh, I don't see anything cut out in it. 
could you not? I just sold a lot of seven seventeen magazines for it was one hundred and thirty eight dollars shipped. You'll see those on my what sold to, um, Monday or Tuesday whenever it comes out. Um, anyway, so yeah, this one I actually comped their nugget, the man's world. You can look that one up. Twenty eight better homes. Um, this, these are home plans from, I sold a, a similar book that was from 1967 for $50. These are all home plans. It's looking to see for a date. Preschool, counting, beginning sounds, readers. I have a bean and he has a bean and cheese burrito in case anybody didn't hear that. The 51st Orange Bowl Classic, Oklahoma versus Washington, January 1st, 1985, Miami, Florida, $4. This would be the program. Pretty sure Mercedes paid a pretty penny to have that spot right there. All of these were in a um, really old magazine rack. I dug them all out of that. Um, Marie got Marie and Justin got some really cool wooden puzzles that have the little pegs on them that you pull the pieces out for the littles. I found these two, and they had five dollars a piece on them. I did not pay five dollars. I found this one. They have these press out. They haven't even been used. Can you see the back on there, how they press out? They've never been used. They're from 19, 1988. Golden Step Ahead Learning Board for Fractions. Also 1985. I've got a couple more too, somewhere, because there's more. Are you guys done with me yet? Are you bored yet? Sourcing with Bolo Buddies Midwest Picker. You're going to look into Teespring. I need to figure out what I want to do. I think everything is banner format. Look for whose name, Maureen. I don't think it's Lauren Hutton. Are you talking about on Cosmo, Gina? It is, I'm trying to think of her name. Hang on, I'll tell you exact, exactly. Uh, Tracy would know who it is in a freaking heartbeat. I should do that. Why, why, why? L'Oreal, L'Oreal. It is Frederic Vanderwall. Frederike? Frederike Vanderwall. And she's beautiful. Friend. I'm almost done. I'm on the last tub. Oh, I'm talking to these. Um, Jacques Cousteau. Living Sea, A Voyage of Adventure and Discovery. I loved watching him when I was a kid. And the original envelope that it came in. Femory, you guys. You may not, you may not, uh -huh. <clears throat> you may not be.
be into it and know a lot about it, but it's super cheap and it's super easy to pick up anywhere you go. Um, and so it's not something that you can go, oh, that's a bad buy. I shouldn't have bought it. Um, because you really cannot, it, it's so inexpensive. And the best thing to do, if you can, depending on your work schedule and what you do, um, everything's out of the car. It really is. Scout's honor. Um, I mean, you guys, you guys see that I pick, I, I have such a wide variety of stuff that I, I'm, I know about and you, any of, any of you that have gone into my store, my store is out there for anybody to look at. It's farm girl scavengers, ES instead of scavenger. And anybody can go look at it, help yourself. I share it freely as this, you can go on, on my banner on YouTube. There's a link to go into it. So, um, I have a wide variety. I don't do a lot of RA. I do some here and there, but for the most part, I do not. I just have no desire to compete with everybody else. I have no desire to go out there and play in that rat race. I can spend uh, uh, two things I'll list out of, out of this whole hall here. We'll pay for everything and put me in profit. Do that, that stupid little, uh, fly fishing necklace for 25 bucks that's half a that's close to half of today's haul just those just a couple of those fly fishing books and i have everything paid for so this is like thrifting class one <laughs> that's hilarious um so here's some more books and, and that's about what i got left so if you're bored of books then walk away but you guys got to understand it takes 10 15 seconds to scan a book and don't necessarily do you need to be looking at all the stuff that everybody else has because it's weird stuff but anything related to fishing fly fishing golfing that that kind of stuff i mean when you're getting when you're notching down i mean fishing period but then let's go bass fishing trout fishing fly fishing fly fishing has a huge following and all of the uh, there's so many um, books out there by older guys that were really into and, and taught how to, to do the first, I've sold so many cool fly fishing books. It's, it's almost impossible to not at least get five or 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 books, bucks for a fly fishing book. And as you guys have seen, I paid very little for these if you if we went if I went through here and counted every item that I bought up and divided it by what I put in, so one hundred and thirty nine dollars, including tax for yesterday and today, if I went through and added every piece of everything I had, I mean, we could count all of these little pictures and all of that. Then I have pennies, technically pennies into the any of you guys that came in late, check this out. It's the base mortar of, is it a howitzer cannon, cannon bullet, Justin? Is this a how, is that from a howitzer cannon bullet? Is that what you think it is? He was in the military. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. It says on the bottom, 1917 MAI howitzer. It's from a howitzer. So. King of Fish. This is in the little kids' bookshelf. Um, introduction to the Chinook salmon. Bonneville Dam. This is from this is from my area. The Bonneville Dam is on the Columbia River, not very far from me. Maybe 40, 50 minutes. 1977 Road Atlas. Another 1977 Road Atlas. I wished I'd have found this. I sent I sent D flip. Flipping particles. I miss her. I told her that we all missed her. I sent her, I found um Gren and I, no, Emily and I found a really cool Snoopy coffee mug. She got a new van. I don't know if you guys saw her last post on Instagram. So we found a really cool Snoopy coffee mug and I bought it and I sent it to her the other day. Check this out. 
Charlie Brown's super book of questions and answers. <laughs> I wish I'd had this. I would have sent this to, I may still send it to her anyway, because why not? She loves Charlie Brown. Um, why? 1976. This is all teaching stuff. Up we go. And none of it has been written in. It's got all the... This is the stuff that she used for tutoring, but she didn't let anybody write in it. And this is from 1970. This one is getting ready to read practice book. Same thing. 1979. Here, my sister graduated from high school. There is language arts program. There's one, two, three, four. More we read pictures. So the the Dick and Jane books, um, that kind of stuff. Before we read, here's these are all. So I will sell these in sets because I have enough to do that. These are from. Um, should keep one for Gren. 1965. You guys walk past this stuff all the time. I'm pretty sure. Brass shell, cool, considered trench art. Probably not appropriate to make it into a floral vase. I don't know. That's what Ryan wanted to do, Gina. He's like, that'd make a really pretty flower vase. You guys. The Kindergarten Log, Volume 2. It's got a ditto. How many people remember the dittos? I used to love to go down and run all the dittos off. I loved the smell of them. Of course, you know, that was like when I was in the fifth grade. The fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, you got to volunteer to go down. This is uh, 1966, ninth printing. Okay, the first printing was 1960. And it's just everything. Everything you would do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and it goes from September to June. <laughs> it's pretty cool. What you should be doing every day. <laughs> and then this one was really cool. Easy paper folding fun. Step-by-step -step directions. Easy to follow diagrams. I'm, I'm not, your brother, where did I, sourcing Google goodies, you may need to design a new logo that is more square. Are you talking to me? T oh, Teespring. Go on Canva and do it for free or go on Fiverr and have somebody do it for you. We only paid $5 for the puzzle. Yeah. I didn't pay that for mine. I'd like, I. I almost wish that you guys have waited so we paid all together. I know this gal. Um, actually, Emily um, bought a recliner chair for a really nice recliner chair from hers four weekends ago for $12.50. <laughs> D was in your live chat Friday. How did I miss that? Oh, because I was in the Goodwill doing a live and then she must have been gone. I miss her so much. Um, Well, trench art is worth a lot of money. So as is all trench, all is worth a lot of money. So as Christians aren't prison art. Oh, gotcha. Before you end this, pull up Justin's IG. Before you leave, my phone won't let me. I will. Um, I still have a little bit more. Sorry. So this is really, this book is really cool because it's got oh did you put, okay just put it right there thank you Justin pulled something up for me so this is got all of these different 
things on how to fold. I mean, I know you can do this on the internet, but this is like, she had these and she used these for her students. Oh, something's, oh, look it. It's the kitty cat, something. I'm easily amused and I know, and I easily amuse others. So Justin said the uh, 155 millimeter howitzer by Schneider was the principal heavy howitzer piece of the French army during the Great War. It started as a private enterprise. Um, actually, I was one of the family program managers for the two the 218th when he was in the National Guard, and I went up north. Um, we got to go up north one day and we all got to shoot the howitzer cannon and I actually got to shoot a howitzer cannon bullet before he did and I wasn't even enlisted. That was great. All right, I got just a little bit more and I'm done, promise. I still have 10 listings to do because I am in um, Chaz and Trista's Side Hustle Pros uh, February Listing Challenge. I've never seen one of these, and it is freaking awesome. I don't remember it being like that, but it probably was. This is a Golden Books Fragrance Calendar, Scratch and Sniff, Sniffy's 1973 Fragrance Calendar, a new scent each month. Isn't that awesome? Have you guys, anybody, has anybody seen this? Yes, my son, my oldest son is Justin and Marie's husband is Justin. The missing scent, poor little Snippy. He wasn't invited to Chester Chipmunk's Christmas party because Chester's mother said Snippy is a skunk and skunks have a bad, bad scent. And I, oh, oh, here's the. Oh, it actually smells like pizza. Dude. That's amazing. You want to come smell it? This is supposed to be warm and sweet and odor of hot chocolate. Holy smokes, smells like pizza. That smells like pizza. That's really cool. Who would have thought? It was on that shelf on the wall where that lady, so there was another a reseller there and she was looking through all the books and the ephemera and stuff and I was like looking through some stuff too and I asked her what she collected and she goes I really just depends I'm sorry she burnt my gourd really just depends on the graphics and so I was gonna like you know as I'm going through it because you can help each other right nope she was having nothing with that and then every time I would go in another room that she was in or I was in before she was in, she would do <laughs> like this. And so she came into the area where all the fly fishing books were. And I was in there and I thought she was going to crap her pants. She was so pissed that I was standing there at that desk and there was not room for two people. And I wouldn't have shared it with her after she did that anyway. And she saw me loading up all the fly fishing books. And, <laughs> and I have my Ikea bag sitting on the floor and she, tried to step there was nowhere for her to go because of where that desk was she was nasty to me and then she was nasty so i i wanted to trip her when she was going up the stairs because that was what was going through my mind so just so you guys all know i'm not the sweet little thing that you think i might be oh where did that come from anyway this is really cool this is super cool i have no idea i'll look it up but who wouldn't buy this wouldn't you buy snippies 1973 fragrance calendar. Of course you would. And here's a few more puzzles that I found. This is a old lady, little boy blue. I found these today too, and patty cake. So all lot, all of those puzzles up together. This was my favorite book when I was a kid. My sister brought it home when she was in kindergarten. She's six years older than me. 
I love this book. It is the most dorky book in the whole world. I paid almost $25 to buy one off of eBay years ago. And this one doesn't look like it has ever been read. And my dad called me Weasel. That was my nickname because I loved this book. They called me Tink from the time I was little was my nickname. But my dad would call me Weasel every once in a while because I loved this book. I loved it so much that my sister got in trouble because she forgot to take it back. She had to take it back, check it out, recheck it. I love this book. I'm not selling this one. This one's mine. Yep, yeah, I'm keeping that one. Oh. See what I have to, to live with? Same lady tried to buy a box for a fishing. Oh, was that her? That was her because I was in there when they brought the box in to the guy and the, and the guy that was the guy that was in the basement was actually this the um person who had passed away that owned the place. He was actually like his adopted grandson and he spent all of his time with they weren't blood related and and he was really a super nice guy and we chit chatted and he was really thankful that i had found all the pictures and that kind of stuff and so he was he was great to me and i was looking at the fishing reels and stuff and i thought i'm not going to get anything until like tomorrow but for the bid rug dog was your favorite when you were five but you really loved the box car children i didn't see any of those there i'm surprised well probably that lady got it anyway yeah, I was in there when they brought that in, and the guy goes, "Oh no, that ha that the fishing reel's right here." Huh? That's hilarious, Justin. Yep, she wanted the box for the graphics. <laughs> Surprised she didn't get this for the graphics, and she also missed a record upstairs for uh, the reading ra reading rainbow that has great graphics on it. This is. The whole kids catalog for adventure seekers of all ages. Great new catalog of super things to find, to do, and to make. And I may keep this. Look at look at these graphics. You see those? Sorry, my light's in the way. Don't yell at me, Marie. I'm working on it. Turtles. Are those like not too way too cute? <laughs> Anyway, dancing phantom books, 1975, no writing in it, no nothing. This is just got all kinds of stuff in it. So when I, when we talk about books, there's so many different, so many, that lady really pissed me off. Like I, if she'd have been there today, I really would have tripped her going down the stairs. That while I was walking away. Gina sending me photos like I could look at them because I'm not on my phone. That's okay. I'm going to go. Oh, what do you got there? Chickens have lots of extra parts when you're cooking them so I can make a bear. <laughs> What has that got to do with anything, you dork? That's mm -hmm. hilarious, though, I will have to say. Oh, I'm going to, I got to plug my, have my, I got to plug my phone in. Because it was just telling me to there. Okay. American Heritage Book of Indians. Geraldine, I kind of got this for my mom, but it's actually worth money. So she's not getting it because it was produced by the Dairy Council. And as you well, as most everybody knows, I was raised on a dairy and my dad. This is Geraldine. It's a little black and white book and it's about a cow. Hey, Leroy. That is disgusting, Tina. I will have to say 20 TP tails. Past times to make th to make things to make for traveling. Edison electric lamp. The story of Paul Bunyan. Quit stomping. Official map of San Francisco.
This is from, I was trying to look for a date. This folds out. Eroy, you missed all the good stuff. Well, this is still good stuff, but this might be boring. All right. I had to get this. Don't laugh too hard, you guys. Um, <laughs> Weedle on the needle. That's <laughs> the kid's book. And that's the the um the space needle in Seattle. Nineteen seventy four, dedicated to Seattle, Washington, a wonderfully warm place for a weedle to stay. <laughs> there you have it. This is by Serendipity Press, actually. Um, if you guys see books, there's a whole following for Serendipity Press. You'll see them on that have all of these. It's okay, Leroy, you can always Watch it later. If you need something to put you to sleep, first five minutes will get you. I was really hoping Danica would come in because I got something specifically for her, but I'll show it to you guys. It'll be the last thing I'll show you. Mr. Bell invents the telephone. Like I said, he worked for the phone company. Yellowstone Wonderland for boys and girls. And I'm getting there. Like I said, I got not showing you all of them individually. I'm just going to show you the stack. They all are different books um, from Scholastic that have the records. And I'm going to sell these as a lot. I mean, the Bremerton Musicians over in the meadow. A lot of these you guys would know. Curious George takes a job. The Frog Prince, stuff like that. And then... I got this whole set, the Golden Book Encyclopedia, book one. There's 16 of them, 1960. These are selling anywhere from, these don't look like they were ever opened and used. There's no writing in them. They're not bent. They were on the top shelf. Um, they're going anywhere from 99 to 120 bucks for the set. Weed is legal pretty much anywhere now, Justin. and Every drug is legal in Oregon now. So, I mean, weed's been legal for a long time. It's legal down here too. Just saying. Well, the last thing I'm gonna show you is what I got for Danica. And apparently, I don't know, she must be doing something else. This was in the room that had all of the clothes where I, where I, um, Marie put a picture of me up yesterday where I modeled these. I still think that these ones are better. I like these ones. They're not as tight as those. <laughs> Girl, okay. I don't know how much of this you guys are going to see. It's old. It is. Four by six Sea Wave Chili. It is a Lone Star. Flag. So. I got that for Danica. I'm going to send it to her. I'm not even going to tell her that I got it for her now. I'm just going to send it to her and we'll see if she watches this. And, and, and don't anybody tell her. Don't be party poopers. We had a $25 price tag on it. This I got this today with all of half of those clothes. The first seven fishing shirts that I showed you I got yesterday. All the rest and the the long kimono and a couple of the hats and the two belts. I got all of those clothes yesterday in the $85 thing. All the rest of the clothes, all of this, 
um, I got today. So that's it. That's what I got for $139 and, and 60 some cents, something like that. Read really a kilogram. People that run this state are idiots. And I, yeah, that's kind of how most of it is. Anyway, that I, you know, it is. It just, but it's still there. They voted it in. Um, legal in Arizona, legal in Cal Colorado, legal in pretty much anywhere. That, but you cannot cross state lines with it, even if it's legal from state to state. If you're crossing cannot cross state lines with it because now then that's where the feds get involved. So if you're in California and you're going to buy it and use it in California, buy it and use it in California, but you can't buy it in California and go into Oregon with it, even though it's legal in or Oregon and vice versa. So there you go. Okay. Pull up Justin's IG. Thank you, Marie. Oh, that's, there's a hell of a vintage too. What the heck? That. All right, this is stupid. Hell bent. Oh, shit. Did he not put it on Hellbent? Because it's not on Hellbent. Is it on um, the gently used good ones? Okay. Oh, oh yeah. All right, you guys. Check this out. Oh, let me make it big. Can you? Okay. Vintage. Uh, $200 he's selling it for. Vintage Play School Express. First train track set. 1990 good. That's nice. So per, per that's that's uh, the account that they use to sell on Instagram in their area, and it's P E R R. Well, did you put it on there? P E R R E L E T underscore gently J E N T L Y used go goods. Um. Gently used goods. So you can follow uh, Justin Perlet and Marie. That's the, um, sorry guys, that's the site that they used to sell on. Anyway, yeah, different prices. No read. What? Easier to bring it. Yeah, for sure. What's no read woman mean? Well, you know, she's going to definitely rewatch your live. Who's going to definitely rewatch? I'm missing somewhere, some, something. 82, okay. Who's going to rewatch my live? I missed it. Did I miss any somebody coming in too? I hope not. Leroy, did I miss anybody before Leroy? 28? Well, I don't know. 15 are watching now, 28. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much, especially on a Super Bowl night, especially with a bunch of other people being live. So I appreciate it. Um, anyway, that's that. I need to get off of here because, like I said, I am in um, a listing challenge, a February listing challenge with Chaz and Trista Side Hustle Pros. Um, there's they only allowed so many people in. I think there's 160 of us in there. 
how much she she wants 200 Marina, do you want to know how much she wants for the train? $200 is what they have it listed for. Um, yeah. He paid $1.13 for it. That's awesome. Anyway, text me and let me know if you're going to come in the morning, Marie. And I'll wait for you. Or you can meet me there. But we'll go. I'll all um the other one um uh, is at noon so and it's in vancouver too the private pick is at noon so yep i gotta get i got to get listening if there's anything that you guys saw in here that you are interested in uh message me on instagram and call you at 8 a.m all right I'll call you at 8 a.m. I'll probably be up at 5 30 because I'm going to try to get my listings in. I don't sleep much. Um, anyway, so thank you guys so much. I hope you guys all had a wonderful day. And Gina's getting a present in the mail. And I told her that she couldn't open it unless her husband was there to videotape it. And she's scared that I'm sending her a glitter bomb, which just so you guys all know, I would never do that to anybody because. Glitter is toxic to the earth. And even though there are a lot of people that are toxic to the earth, at least when their body disintegrates, it it, it creates compost. <laughs> Glitter doesn't. <laughs> <coughs> I made myself laugh. Sorry. Love you guys. Thanks. Have a great rest of your night. Oh, you're going to say bye. Ren says good night. See you all Tuesday morning, bright and early. Bye.